These belong to Sheng. They're for the funeral. Sorry to make you wait. The prince isn't well right now. He won't allow visitors. It's best that you go back. If anything happens to inform me at once. The Rehu Court and Sky Eye are at your disposal if it's urgent. Is that clear? Understood, my lord. It's a long way there. I hope you travel safely. a lot like the moon. Have you ever been near the moon? Whenever I see the moon, I can smell the aroma of magnolias. You should see the moon from Shuli Mountain. It's bigger and brighter and cleaner than this one. I'll be patient then. One of these days, I'll view the moon from there. When we return to the north, we will drink our fill. Mm -hmm. In three years? I hope to be worthy of the moon and wine. I don't want to disappoint you. If we want to drink the wine three years from now, we have to do something about it. We can't just sit and wait. We have to make the first move. I think you're right. We don't have enough people to escape from Chang'an. There are still so many things left for us to do. We'll do them one by one. Mm-hmm. I simply can't believe the Marquis ended up becoming like this. Sons don't speak ill of their father. Please be very discreet. It's good that... 
Prince Yanshin is still alive, after all. For now, the Marquis can go ahead and find some comfort in heaven. Am I right? Honestly, my words don't have much impact. A strong will, but no power. <laughs> don't blame yourself, Yuan Cha. You've done your best throughout all this. The Marquis is dead. What are your plans now, sir? Will your next step be going back to the Prince? The Marquis once did a favor for me. So in that instance, I agreed to stay and assist them. But now that all of that has passed and he's dead, I don't want to return to that sad place anymore. <sighs> well, in that case, since that has passed, how about you join me? And don't worry, because I will treat you no worse than how the Marquis treated you. So please, don't hesitate. Stay for now. And then when you're able to find a better place to stay, I promise I won't keep you here. If that's the case... Fine. I'll accept your kind offer. I appreciate your favor very much. Great. That's incredible news. And now that you'll be around, finally, I'll have someone to play chess with. It will be good to have you. All of my men are great fighters, you know. Unfortunately, they can't play chess. I heard that you and Ye from the Yuan Mansion managed to offend the Emperor. And for that, he was assigned to the border. I believe he will have to serve under you very soon. He's a master chess player, you know? Surely by then, you won't lack any good chess players. <laughs> so he's another Lord's son. Arrogant, but incapable people. Life here is cold and hard. I bet he'll get tired of this place after a few days. <laughs> Not necessarily. I've heard some rumors about this man called Yuan Ye. In fact, I have some expectations of him. Prince of Shang, I'm Yuan Ye, here to serve under you. I hear you're from a good family. Why didn't you choose to stay in prosperous Chang'an? instead of coming to a place as backward as this one is. Because if a prince is able to stay in this place, then why can't I? So you do have some backbone. While you were on your way here, you must have had a clear view of the enemy infringing our border in this endless war. I suffer from a lack of brain power and troops. Since you'll be the one to inherit the Sky Eye, I assume you know about military affairs. Go and take my tally and try to recruit new men. I just arrived. And I know nothing. How can I recruit men? I don't know you either. I don't know if you're actually talented enough, or if you're just another arrogant show-off. I won't hand over my existing forces to you. You must be able to train your own soldiers to keep a foothold at the border. When you're qualified, come and find me here. Take this. From this day forward, you will become a spy. I'm giving you the Shanhong Sword. Do not fail it. to my arm. 
Which part? My sleeve. Which part did you want? It's crowded here, and if you get lost, I'll have to look for you. Shanhong sword? It's cold out here. Come inside. Someone told me. Nobody can go in no matter how urgent it is. Really? Even though I told you that, how dare they let you in this place? Miss Chu, I see you're finally back. The prince insisted on waiting for you, so you two could eat together. Have a seat. I've reheated the dishes. <laughs> really? Mm. Are you sure that it's not because you don't cook well and the prince didn't like them? That's impossible. You'll know if it's good after you've tried them. I've cooked so many dishes for you. If you don't eat them, I won't have accomplished anything. <laughs> Come on, let's have dinner. trip. Eat more to stay healthy. Listen to me. Now that you're back, I don't think you should leave again. <sighs> Three more years. Three years from now, I'll take you back to Northern Yan. It will be midsummer by then. It will be beautiful, with all the green pastures. Then I'll take you horse riding. And we'll ride to Shuli Mountain.
late. What? You can't sleep? I'm smelling the wine. You're anxious? It's been over a year since that day we went and buried that jug of wine. Mm -hmm. One year, one month, and three days. It's been so long already. No wonder it smells so strong, making me feel drunk. You have to be patient. Three years from now, the wine will reach its peak fragrance. Report! Excuse me, General! The enemy is approaching! There's about 2,000 of them! They're marching quickly! They've already reached Fungbo Ridge! The map. Fighting out the invaders along the Greeter River. Let's head over there. We only have 500 men. We're outnumbered, General. It's for the greater good. Pass on my orders. All soldiers, sharpen your blades and march with me. It's time for battle. Yes! <laughs> Yesterday's battle, I realized when I first came to the border, I felt like I've been exiled by my own father. Now I realize that I'm not supposed to live for my father. Why should I miss the deception and the palace intrigue that I've come to know? This land here is where I'm needed the most. I fight not only for the way, or even for my father, but most importantly, I also fight for the people on the border. People have to see the war. To understand that life is the most precious thing in this world. So, you and you, I should thank you. I should thank you too. <laughs> Why would you do that? After this battle, I feel like I'm no longer a hopeless traveler. I'll follow your orders and help train troops. <laughs> What then is the use of military training? Because after all, there are never any winners in war. We may kill a thousand, but still lose 800. People will die no matter what. You and you, you have inherited the Sky Eye and have great responsibilities. Your battlefield isn't meant to be here. Besides, a good spy is worth an entire army. The Liang spies are actively moving. From the reports I've heard, they have intercepted letters from the court that I never got to see. Those spies are responsible for the last few defeats we've had. Yunye, I know that not a very long time ago, we suffered a lot in Chang'an. However, we're both men, you and I. We have our respective responsibilities. You've been here long enough. 
You should go back. I want to play a game of hide and seek, you go ahead and find me right away. You don't take your time. Your Highness. What was that? What did you call me? Chun. Mm. So tell me, why didn't you come to my birthday banquet? I sent you an invitation. Forgive me, Your Highness. What did you say? Your Highness? It's only us here. Who are you talking to? Chun, something got in the way. What could have possibly happened? Uh, uh, oh, I understand. You must not have wanted to see Wei Shu Yao. His house arrest just ended. I don't know why he came to the banquet either. <sighs> Come on, Yan Chun. You don't have to be angry with me. <laughs> don't worry, Your Highness. I'd never dare. Why are you always calling me that? <laughs> Listen, Yanshun. The thing is, you and I are close, aren't we? Why are you so cold? Today is my birthday, you know? And you didn't come to see me. Instead, I had to come here so I can see you. <sighs> I know that I am a princess of Wei, and there were many lords present at the birthday banquet I held. And all those people who went there like me. Yangshin, please tell me, why is it that you can't like me the way I like you? You have a higher social status. Well, I hate those stupid distinctions. How nice it would be if we could just turn back time. Hey, do you remember when I was nine? We snuck out of the palace. And then, we ate lots and lots of tasty food and had fun in the streets. You even took me to see a fight. But I guess now, you're trying to be more discreet, even when saying my name. I was young and ignorant then. Please forgive me. Yanshin, if you keep talking to me like that, I'm going to get angry. I don't want to talk to you. I'm leaving. Please wait, Your Highness. Ha Jing? For your birthday, please accept it. This is my gift I humbly present to you. You really prepared a gift for me? rabbit tail? Hmm. A few days ago, I heard that Huan Huan bit your finger. The consort ordered it beaten to death. You cried for a long time. So I ordered the servants to find the rabbit and cut off its tail as a memento. Please take this with my humble regards. Usually, people give me pearls and gold, and it's getting quite boring. But with this gift, it's like one one ever once left my sight and will be with me forever. <laughs> my dear Yanshin, this is the best birthday gift I could ever have. Thank you so much. I must be going now. I'll come again soon. for me. Your Highness.
And what are you drawing? I'm afraid I can't tell you. Need someone you can. recruiting troops in Northern Yan. He said that he was planning your return from Chang'an. Mm. Your Highness, I know that you tell Miss Chu about everything. However, this is very critical, and I hope that you... Ah, Chu? Why can't I tell her? Tell me the truth. What are you hiding there in your bag? Can you tell me what it is? Is this the legendary triple link trap? I once saw it in the Yuan Mansion. But this one I've altered based on the layout of Yingu Courtyard. Back now, you'll lose that chance. And if the Emperor decides to release Yan Shen, <laughs> things will get difficult. But regardless of the Emperor's decision, Yan Shun must die. Then let's not delay anything. We should really act quickly. I came because of your reputation. In order to buy my wife this type of cloths, I visited shops all over Chang'an so I could find them. People told me I could only find them at the House of Rare Goods. What do you know? They were right. It deserves its reputation. Tell me, where are these clothes from? These are from the South. We sell goods from all around the world here, and all our goods are top quality. Every day at around 10, we have a sale at our stall. Oh. All the clothes you want will be priced at 90% off and can be delivered to your house. In a few days, new designs will be arriving from the south. Here in Chang'an, these designs are unique. Indeed, it's good quality. Unfortunately, the weather is bad today. If I were you, I'd better close earlier. Because if I don't, the rain might damage all of these exquisite goods. Uh. I'll take all these items. Uh. Miss Wei, if you please, deliver them here. Absolutely, sir. You'll receive them tomorrow morning. Well, sir, be careful. Thank you. Your Highness, excuse me. 
I hear Wei Shuyao has been released. And knowing that idiot, the first thing he'll ever do is cause some trouble for us. If he does that again, we'll have to kill him. No need to wait. We'll kill him when he arrives. time they could strike again your highness it'll be a difficult three months what now the lords who are after me won't give up so easily I am visible and they are not we can't be so passive anymore do you know any way for us to attack we must fight against the lords of Yuan Wei and Zhao the three old tombs. I have an idea. We can sow discord by going for the old emperor's tombs. Three birds with one stone. But the clans don't have overlapping offices. How do we involve them all? Tell me which clan built the old tombs, which purchased the materials, and which one is guarding it right now. You and Hui is the one guarding them. And the Chao clan built the tombs. The Wei clan provided building materials. If the tombs are raided, all three will be implicated. Excellent. The power of these three clans is already... threatening Imperial power. And the Emperor has been looking for faults within them. We'll push their ridiculous internal strife to the fore. But Huanhui is guarding the Imperial tombs. So we all know that we must be very cautious and wait for our chance. And this chance can come at any time. You and Hui has been there for three years. Do you think he will be guarding all night? Definitely not. He's a defiant man. He'll probably stay far away. He won't devote himself to his master. Been 
so long. And yet the winds about Chang'an are as sweet as I remember them to be. Even the sweetest wind can be very treacherous. <laughs> when I was exiled from Chang'an by my old father, I cried so much every night. How childish I was. It's embarrassing. However, I should be thankful for those years away from Chang'an. It seems Prince Yu and she has yet another competitor. That boy is a moron. He's no match against any of us. Don't underestimate them. There's plenty of hidden talent here. The best of which remains concealed. Yeah. 